everybody. It's Karen Derishan from Waterfall Acrylics. It's been one hour since my last paint pour. <laughs> Sound like a confessional. Ooh, I don't think I've ever said my last name before. It's Derishan. It's my husband's name. You know. Um, welcome to the channel. Um, I was going to do or try to do, because I keep feeling a negative space pour, old school style, but I found another piece of functional art that I haven't poured on yet. And I figured if I do it, you know, two weeks before the auction, um, the winning bidder, if there is one, uh, would only have to wait a week um, for me to res it and get it off in the mail and make it to you in time for the holidays. So tonight we're gonna be pouring on this big old tray. Um, I would thought I would show you a couple finished pieces. I will get a preview video up. So this is uh, just like in the last video, a preview of the preview. So just a couple quick pieces. This is from like, I don't know, three or four videos ago. Um, obviously Shelly Art Bloom style. It has now been resin super pretty with the, um, with the copper, red and gold. Love that one. So that one's done. And then this is an oldie. I don't think it was ever filmed. Um, and I don't know, the shimmer won't shut up. It's been resined, but it had the light blue cell activator. Oh, it shows up um, with the purples and the pink. It's really quite striking. Great for like a girl's room, I feel. So that one's like already. And then one more that'll be at the auction. I think this one was filmed. This is 12 by 12. This guy here, this giant flower super super pretty this one is um varnished with my bright tone varnish it has not been resin because uh i just didn't like it for this piece so that one just has varnish so there's three more that will definitely be at the auction and i'm gonna do another first tonight which i never ever do and that is measure out my paint um i have i do have a kitchen scale and I'm only going to do like two colors in front of you and then I'll turn the camera off and do mix up the rest. But I am going to be all like scientific tonight because I always just eyeball it. I feel painting should be done organically like that. That's just my own personal preference. But I'm going to use my scale tonight and um, we're going to use the golden pouring medium and be all exact. So let me get you down. <laughs> <laughs> so... I forgot to hit the button and I started without you guys. I don't, you only missed one color. So the first color we're gonna do is, this is Van Dyke Brown by Amsterdam. So this is two ounces, one ounce of paint and one ounce of the pouring medium. I am liking the consistency of this. It's a little on the thicker side. I don't think I'm gonna augment that one with water. So all I'm gonna do is, these are three ounce cups, right? So I just kind of eyeball it like, okay, well, I want an ounce, so about a third of the way, right? So that's what I do. So I'm just gonna pick a color. This one here, this is a deep gold. So this is a Plaza Acrylics. This is a local um, art store near me. This is their version of gold and it's deep gold compared to Amsterdam's light gold. So you can really hopefully see the difference in color. I'm gonna throw this on here, we're zeroed out. Oh, I got close, 0.9, close enough. So what I'm gonna do is just leave that on the scale and add another ounce of pouring medium. And watch the scale go up. So, oh, slightly over, 2.1. And give that a mix. This is a different brand, it could be thicker. It feels thicker already than the Amsterdam. And this might be kind of like my last video, like a lot of the colors I ended up doing like 1.5. Yeah, see this is definitely much thicker than the Amsterdam. This is much creamier. So this one I'm gonna probably add, let me see, that's 2.2, and I'm probably gonna go to 2.5, yep. It's gonna add that much more pore medium. Oh, it went up to two. 2.7. All right, so this one for this particular color, and it's specific to this brand, and unless you live in a Washington, D.C. area, you're never going to get it, so um, 
I'm not gonna worry about it. But this is definitely, their paint is thicker for my local art shop. So this one has a ratio of um, one to one and a half, where the other one was one to one. We'll do one more, and that's all I'm doing. That's all you do. So let's pick another Amsterdam um, color. Or let's do this. I have PBO Studio Acrylics. This is their orange, iridescent orange yellow. I want to see if I'm close to uh, 0.9, so almost an ounce. I don't know if we can top it off because this is almost empty. There we go. So there's exactly one ounce. Add another ounce of this and let's see what the consistency is like. There we go, two ounces on the dot. I'll do the other colors off camera. But I just kind of want to see what the PBO is like. Consistency-wise. And this is very similar to the Amsterdam, where it's not going to need water or more pouring medium or anything. It's perfect as is. So I have... I guess I could knock them out real quick. I only have two... No, I have... Four colors left. I'm going to turn the camera off um, and knock them out. I have, what is this color? Oh, I have a, um, what is blue violet from Amsterdam. I have red violet from Amsterdam. And I have the light gold from Amsterdam plus white. So I'm going to go mix those up. That's all there is to it. I'm not going to add any water um, to the Amsterdam paints for sure. They are all pretty much at the same consistency. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm all done mixing. I do want to show you um, something that all of these um, are exactly two ounces now. Um, one ounce of the pouring medium, one ounce of paint, and they are all a little thick except for that Van Dyke Brown. It's the only one that feels lighter and creamier, and I like the way it pours off my stick. All the other ones, I think I need to augment. Well, the um, PBO is fine too, but the rest of the Amsterdam paints, these four colors, they're kind of on a thick side. They're not quite as uh, creamy. This one I've already, this one is because I already augmented it with a little bit of water. So I just want to show you how much water I'm adding real quick. That's about it. It's like half of a teaspoon. That's it and I give that a really good mix. It'll feel thin at first before it thickens up again, and then we'll see. And that's still a little thick. See how that, um, that trace, that puddle, did not disappear within a second. It sat there, and that's, that means it's too thick for me. So a little tiny bit more water, and there we go. That one's good. Check these other two real quick. The red violet is a little thick, so just start with, that wasn't even a half a teaspoon of paint, I mean paint water. Give this a mix until it thickens up. And there we go. And then finally, this is my Plaza Studio Acrylics. I'm gonna add a little more. This was the thickest one of all. And if you're bored with this or you're not interested in mixing for the, the uh, correct consistency, please, by all means, fast forward or use the timestamps in the description section or as a pinned comment down below um, to get to the next segment. I hope you guys will watch though. All right, we're looking good. Um, let me grab my tray. Don't really have to use a tarp or anything tonight. I got my cup of white. I'm being really brave because I have a tube still of the Artist Loft Titanium White. So that's what this is mixed with the same golden color pouring medium and gloss. Uh, I hope it behaves. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just layer colors real quick. 
think about my order. We'll just start with a little bit. I'm gonna need about two thirds of a cup, two thirds, somewhere between two thirds and three quarters of a cup to do that, uh, that tray. I'm just gonna start with a little white on the bottom. And I am going to use silicone. I'm getting siliconed out, I'll be honest. Um, the cleanup, it's a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna put two drops and most of the colors, I think I'll skip a gold. And let me think of my order and I'll stir it up as I go. I wanna keep the brown and the purple away from each other. So, something like that, that looks great. So let's do that. So let me mix in the silicone to the red violet. Try to do two layers. There's about a half an ounce. So while I'm doing this, I can actually talk to you guys because uh, it's hard to do with the bloom recipe, but um, my husband and I have been binge watching Mad Men because, you know, we're late to the party. And I know that show's supposed to be um, all about, you know, like character study and the growth of the characters. And it's a sleepy little show is what we think. Like literally it puts us to sleep. We get the head nodding from it. Like I'll look over at Joe and his head will be nodding as he drifts off or vice versa. And then half the time we're like, what's going on? Did we watch this episode? Because <laughs> we're too busy taking naps when, it, when it's on. But when I am awake, uh, I really enjoy the backdrop. Like, cause we're on like, um, where are we? season four so it's like i guess like mid 60s and the whole mid-century modern which is you know totally in vogue right now like the furniture and the artwork and the colors on the walls and like the lamps or we'll be like oh we had that clock in our living room when we were kids <laughs> it's like reliving our youth um that i'm really struck by i think that's why i keep watching the show is just for the uh, the backdrop is awesome. So it's so funny, you know, what comes around goes around because it's all in style again. As we were sitting on our gray uh, tufted sectional. But. And we always giggle at like, the um, warning, it'll be like violence, drug use, and sexual content. <laughs> and we're like, mm, okay, somebody uh, kiss somebody. Like, it's just kind of funny because it's so mild. Or maybe we slept, sleep through the violent parts. I don't know. We haven't really seen anything. And everyone on that show smokes, oh my gosh. I guess that's what it was like back in the day. That and um, there was this one scene where they were um, at a picnic and just threw all their garbage on the grass and left it. And I was like, oh, I can't believe they did that. Oh my God, like you wouldn't dream of doing that nowadays. It, it's just unheard of, right? I think this is my last layer because this is good to go. All right, yep, that's it. That is plenty of paint. Let me push these all up. Grab our little thingy. I'll shut up. Let's get to pouring. Serious business now. All right, is this in frame for you guys? Oh, look how perfect that is. All right. This should be enough paint. Ready? Give that a second. Give that a good second to come down. I was going to say, let me put on some gloves, but don't need any of those. 
I think I have enough paint left to do like a little six by six or something, but I'll do that off camera. All right, ready? Let's see. I'm just gonna leave it like that because those color blended, wow, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't like the solid band of um, silver, I mean silver, gold. I'm just gonna let it spread out. I'm tempted to lip it, lip it, which is what I normally do, but I think I don't think I'm gonna. I am gonna use the rest of this paint. I like to see about two inches um, circumference around the puddle, and this is more like three. So what I'm gonna do is use the paint that's left over my cup that's gonna get pushed to the edges anyway, and we'll just use it to make a circle around this because it, it should get rolled over or pushed to the edge just so I have enough paint to get where I'm going. Yep, that should do it. No cells, that's good. Color blending's really pretty. Pop a bubble. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit. I think I'm gonna raise you guys up, excuse the jiggle, just so I can keep you in frame like that. I wanted colors that would complement this wood. So, same as my last video with the trays. I'm gonna treat this like a canvas. So once it touches the sides, bring your paint back to the middle. Now I'm gonna smush all that stuff I, uh, just pour it on, on. See, that's going to get rolled under. But it's going to help me get to that other edge. Uh, I'm going to let it swirl just a tiny bit and then bring it back and then come down this way. Bring that weight of the paint back to the middle. And I'm going to stop right there. I'll maybe go a little bit more and give this a torch. A little bit that way, or maybe a little more. I'm cutting it close with the paint tonight. I probably could have used another ounce. If I wanna get really close to those edges. I need to keep some um, paint so that it floats on top, so that when I do torch and tilt, I don't lose the integrity of my cells. That's looking good. All right, let's give this a light torching. I'm going to go up high and pop some bubbles. You don't want too many cells because you can't get rid of them. I'm being really chicken because I'm not getting any. <laughs> I guess I'll go in. This is a really rinky dink torch too, so I kind of got to get, I know I kind of, I know I kind of have to get close. All right, maybe some over here, some in here. So that last little bit got me some cells too. I don't like that big thing in the middle. That, that is like an eyesore, right? That's a total eyesore. how Karen operates on giant cells she doesn't like. Stick your finger right in the middle of it. Split it into two. I'm gonna do one more. Basically, voila. All right. Cells are popping up, it gave them a second. So I'm gonna flip this this way. I'm loving the colors. And I'm just gonna tilt, I have between um, like 
this is my 12 o'clock. So between like 10 and two to get to the edge, which will help there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but can, can you see that like band of gold that's like kind of plain that I hope to roll a little bit of that off. And then the same thing down here between like six and eight um, to roll off. And I think I have just enough paint just enough paint. I definitely will not have to worry about too much paint. If anything, it's like, actually the weight of the paint, I'm gonna come my way first because that's where the weight of the paint is. So let's do that and get this part to touch. The boom, bring it up a little. I gotta to touch here like at, at my five o'clock here, just a little bit. Good, you can do it, you can do it. All the way, 5.30, good touch, good. And now, the, these cells are barely floating on top of this, so I'm gonna be moving really slow and just taking my time to get these. The cells are all nice and spread out. This is gonna be beautiful. It is going to be beautiful if I don't screw it up. Is it really slow? The colors look amazing with the wood. I'm trying to get the weight of the paint down there. Getting close. Let's get that gold to roll under itself. Go ahead, gold. Go ahead, go touch. You're almost there. You can do it. Ding. Okay. Bring it back. There's a little on the edge. That's okay. And now all I have is right over here, like between one and two. And keep it from getting wonky. Bring the, try and get the weight of the paint like right here. I'm going to turn that to 12. I'm trying to stay in frame so you guys can see. And I just have like half an inch to get to. And then I'll be able to like move the paint back to make the cells nice and round again. And touch, are you touching? Yes. Oh my gosh, the perfect amount of paint. So that was three quarters of a cup, just so you know. Like I said, I always just eyeball it. Um, and the circumference of this tray is uh, 15 inches. Let's call it 14 inches because of the lip. The lip is a half an inch. So 14 inches interior circumference. I think this might be the best one I've ever made. Am I going to be able to sell this? I have to show this one to my to my husband. I'm just straightening out cells now. Ta-da! I'm not joking, that's one of the best trays I have ever made, for reals. It complements the wood so great. Two coats of resin and this thing's gonna be phenomenal. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let me get you down on this guy. Okay, so, I don't know, there is no top and bottom, but here's just, I'm just gonna go all over. The cells are amazing, and the color um, with the wood just looks great. I got nice background area. Look at those cells there. No caterpillars, nice spacing between the cells. Um, if you see cells like this, that look like double kidney beans. That's a classic trademark of using the golden uh, color pouring medium and gloss. It always makes cells like that. It did that on my last one, but I stretched them all out. Look at the variety of colors too. Um, I love the blending of the background, the colors. Let me come up high. It's my, my camera doesn't know what to do because it's a mix of the purple and the um, red violet. So like right now it looks all purpley, but I think if I turned it this way, it goes red. Did you see that? Like it changes color. 
Uh, in real life, it's more red violet than purple. All the way around, did I get over here? Because there's this whole section over here that's just amazing too. And then come up high. Ta -da! Love it. Let me say goodbye. Good morning, guys. This is Karen, back with the dried results of this tray. Um, got some natural light in my kitchen this morning, so I'm frozen right here because that's a really good, true representation of the colors of this tray. Um, it dried. It dried great. I'm, like, so happy. My favorite thing that I just noticed last night is right smack, like, in the center is that one perfect cell. It like, it's a show off. Like, look at me, I'm here. Uh, yeah, don't know what else much I can say about this one. I think it's phenomenal. Um, it also will be available at the auction. I thought about keeping it for a minute, but I already have a tray. So, gonna let it go. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it for at least two weeks. The auction's not for another week. Um, well, for me today, it'll be sooner by the time you guys see this video, but, um, I will definitely resonate for the owner. So that's it. Let me flip around. Good grief. I love that pouring medium that I can't, I can't stop staring at it. That is probably the best tray I've made in the last five years that I've been doing this. Um, Maybe I should measure all the time, right? I don't know. That could be it. Like after all this time, am I gonna start like using my kitchen scale? Uh, scale, yeah, scale. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's tempting. I have a bunch of paint left. Uh, I'm done filming for the night though. I'm just gonna goof off on something little. Thanks for watching. It was nice to just like chat with you guys even though it's one-sided um i do not talk to myself when i'm not filming by the way um but i rarely get the chance to do that um, particularly um with the bloom technique because it's all about you know hair dryer and blowing paint around so it was nice to mix in front of you guys so thanks for indulging me and for tuning in and watching please like share subscribe and uh i hope to see you all at the auction It'll be a lot of fun. Come hang out. And uh, until then, uh, take care and peace out.